Hello and welcome to Going Round Flat Earth. Um, the past week I've been looking into Johan Back, the famous musician or magician. He was a composer of the Barak period of time, which is just before the classical period. So you might say it's Beethoven's. He was just before that, the Barak period, which was music which was set to a polyphonic and measurable tone it was about making music for people to sing to making music for people to dance to now um, Beck was known and it's been researched in today and it's called happy speech music so it, it, what it meant was it was high toned fast paced so it was happy speech whereas obviously sad speech is lower tones lower vibrations so Back was using higher vibrations, somatic vibrations. Now, what we're what we're doing on this video today, we're just gonna look at where he played. It's a town called Arnstead in Germany, and we're just gonna have a little look around the town, look at some of the buildings because some have got signs of mud floods. They've got Venetian look about them. We're gonna look at the church it was named after Back, the organ that he played on and the music that he played and what I want people to do is just imagine this music in this time period so it was the 1700s that's the thing about this as well he was born in 1685 back and he died in 17 uh, I think it's 1738 or something like that I believe I can't quite remember off the top of my head now but um, he was playing in this town in that period so uh, late 18th early 18th century late 17th century and he's playing in these buildings and they're beautiful buildings and this is in the 1700s he's playing in these and playing on beautiful organs now if they were built 100 years before him that means they were built around the bubonic plague time and the bubonic plague Europe lost one third of its population and the towns lost half of their population so they were building these beautiful towns while the bubonic plague was going on I find it hard to believe. Yeah, it don't make any sense. Anyway, um, yeah, so back, I think he was part of the movement, something going on, you know, the hiding, the hiding factor. Um, we all know back was. Um, I'm going to show you some of his work, the Christie Lession, which is known for its spells and chants. I'll play a little bit of that. Um, yeah, I've looked a lot into him. I mean, look into him yourself. This town is absolutely beautiful. Um, Back's music is is rather enchanting, funnily enough. Um, yeah, so this is just what I've been looking into. So, And the literal meaning, just so you know, of Barak means misshapen pearl. So music that wasn't quite right. It was a bit controversial at the time, the music, just like all things that are new. Um, yeah, so we're just going to be looking at that really. Um, I hope you enjoy and uh, thank you for tuning in and watching. So here's the musician himself or magician, Johan Back. Now we know his music was of the Barak period. I'm going to show you in a minute a piece, one of his pieces of work, the Christi Elession which is known to have a chanting effect to it so when he used to play his music on the organs in these towns it would have a chanting or a spell on the public which is what he was hired to do right now here we have the uh, family crest uh, just something I wanted to pick up on here his full name like I say it was well his middle name was Sebastian so his full name was Johann Sebastian back so if you look on the left it's JSB and then on the on the right it's JSB backwards so spells forwards is the same back which is, is exactly the same as the Illuminati not that I'm putting two and two together but it's just interesting fact that he's got that on his crest well this is one of his pieces well one of his sheets with music on just thought Brit put this one on there because I quite like it. It's quite a lovely piece. The next piece I'm going to show you is called the Christi Illession. Now it's said to be chanting and be spellbinding. It's only a short piece, but I'll let you listen and see what you think.
So that was the Christy Elession, and obviously it had women singing in it. Now that's what the Barack period was. It was a period where the uh, musicians, they were starting to make music for people to dance to, starting to have music with people singing in it. Now you got to imagine, this is what we can imagine, imagine that being sung in a massive church, going out the windows, all around the town, imagine how that would have made people feel in the 1700s, they never heard anything like it before. Now like I say, Christi Elession means Christ have mercy, and that was just a little bit of that. Now the image you're looking at here, this is called Paul Ignat. Paul Licknick. I'm not really sure how you pronounce this one, but this is one of the churches that he played of. I've put it up just to show you some of the antique tech that's floating around on it. There's the old horse and cart they built all these beautiful buildings on. <laughs> um, and then what we're going to be looking at next is a town that he played in a lot called Arnstad. It's a church here that's named after him. He played there a lot. Like I say, so this is what this is about. Just looking at his music and seeing what it must have been like for these people in these in this period of time. So next we're moving on to where Bach played a lot and that's a town called Arnstead in Germany. And this is the crest of the town, the old uh, open eagle. Um, yeah so you play here a lot, we're going to look at some of these buildings. They look Venetian to me and some have got signs of mud flooding in them, they're beautiful buildings. Let's just have a little look through this town that he played in. Right, this building is called the Rathaus or Red House. It's got some lovely somatic windows at the top. Beautiful, beautiful building. The second one coming along is also the same building. So here is Rathaus again. As you can see, it's got the two spires on the top, uh, parallel to each other, sending out the old somatic resonance. And there, there's Back himself looking at it. Well, this building, lovely building, is called the Lieben Front House. As you can see, it's got the towers at the back, somatic towers. It's got the somatic portholes as well in the middle there. Another beautiful building. So this is inside the Lieb front house. As you can see it's opulence over the top Venetian antiquitech. This is the Hotel Erlab with the pyramid on top, the plain flat plane underneath, giant doorway in the middle. Another lovely bit of antiquitech this one. This is the Hotel Cron. Again, giant doors, giant windows, signs of mud flood at the bottom. Steps going up to a door halfway up. So, yep, another definite signs of mud flood on this building. So, this is one of the houses. It's to the left of it. You can just see what is called the Church of Back which is what we'll be looking at in a minute but this is a house just opposite you can see signs of mud flood again but it's a lovely lovely building lovely oak work definitely a lovely bit of oak work that and lime, lime plaster at the bottom right so here we have an old map drawn of Arnstad uh, have a little zoom in on it you can see that the towers are dotted about Nearly a four angel sort of angle, it depends which way you look at it, but they've all got the the towers on them and the smack windows. And back would have played a lot of these venues, playing to the whole town. Just imagine this music, which you're going to hear in a minute, being played and echoed around these towns. And all around this town, you've got these walls on the outside. So the walls, the, the music would have echoed and stayed in, and there would have been vibration and resonance all going on. It would have been amazing to, to hear. Now, here is the church that is named after Back himself. This is called the Church of Back. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at the size of these windows and the somatic, big somatic window in the middle there. Absolutely beautiful. And just imagine 
him playing music inside this be inside this building with choirs and all the music booming out these some Mac Wind at the top. There's not just one there, all at the top, you see. I don't believe they would have had glass in them back then. I think they would have been open and playing out to the people. Here's a side on view of the back church. Again, lovely, lovely windows on it. This little thing at the top in the roof to play the music out of. And here he is again in the middle of the town of Arnstead. Now, so there you go. What we've looked at is a little bit about back and a little bit about Arnstead, the, the town that he played in a lot. I think you'll agree that there's signs of mud flood, definitely signs of Venetian antique tech. Um, you know, what I've been looking at is imagining what it must have been like to hear this man's music being played here. So on the next picture you're going to see the organ that he played out of in that back church and I'm just going to leave the video there really and let it run out with a piece of his music and I just want you to just close your eyes imagine being in Arnstead sat on a bench and this music is being pumped out of this church just really close your eyes and imagine it and then yeah have a little look into it yourselves and thanks for watching guys so here's the organ that he would have played on in Arnstead it was made by someone called Wenda. Um, look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. That's the pipes at the top, but all these pipes be behind it as well. Absolutely beautiful. There's the windows at the top for it to all blast out, as you can see. There would have been a somatic window behind this as well. But it's absolutely beautiful. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I hope it was a little bit of a, a bit of an eye opener there into the into the world of back. You could talk about him forever, I know, but this is just a little eye opener into the man's life. And like I say, on the next clip, I'm going to play his music. It's going to finish with that. Just close your eyes. Imagine being in this beautiful village in uh, eastern Germany. And thanks for watching.